we have the National Four Practice Value Added Paper uh, from the Knightswood Academy website. So if you'd like to try this, just Google Knightswood Academy National Four Maths Practice Paper. It is the first hit on Google. Uh, thank you very much to Knightswood Academy for uploading that to the website. So I'm just going to go through the solutions to the paper one from that. So as we see, just fill it in, put your name on it, etc. So formula list doesn't really come into paper one. So try this before uh, listening to me going over the answers. Right, question one. The primary school, 40% of the pupils are boys. There are 150 pupils altogether. How many pupils are boys? So it's 150 pupils, 40% of them are boys. Let's work out 40% of 150. So many different ways of doing this, but I'm going to work out 10% first. To work out 10% of an amount, I divide by 10. So 150 divided by 10 is 15. So 40% is four times as much as 10%. So I'm going to do 15 multiplied by four. 15 fours are 60. On to question two. The number of goals scored in football matches are shown below. Calculate the mean number of goals scored. Round your answer to two decimal places. So to work out the mean, we add up all the numbers and divide by how many numbers we have. So the first thing I'm going to do is add them all up and that will be finding the total. So setting out my work and showing exactly what I'm doing it comes to 23. And to find the mean, we have to divide 23 by 6. Now 6 doesn't go into 23, so I'm not going to write 3 remainder 5 because that's not, how, that's not how to work out the answer to two decimal places. I'm going to do 6 into 23 is 3 remainder 5, but we need to turn it into a decimal. So that remainder 5 goes on to the first zero. So we need to add in as many zeros as we need. And 6 into 50 goes 8 times, remainder 2. 6 into 20 goes 3 times, remainder 2 again. 6 into 20 goes 3 times, and it will be remainder 2 again. So it's actually going to be 3.8333333. Now we need to round that to two decimal places. That means we need two numbers after the decimal point. So the first two numbers are 8 and 3. So I'm going to discount this one. Now if this number was 5 or more, I would have to round up to 3.84, but it isn't. It's 4 or less. So the answer is just going to be 3.83 to two decimal places. And as you can see, I haven't actually written that in. There we go. A bit sloppy, throwing away a mark. 3.83 to two decimal places. So quick recap there, add them up, divide by how many numbers you've got. You have to do a bit of rounding as well. Question number three, a fraction question. A car's petrol tank holds 85 litres of fuel. The tank is three fifths full. How many litres of petrol is in the tank? So we have to do three fifths of the amount. So to find three fifths of an amount, I divide by five to find one fifth. I then multiply by three to get three fifths. So 17, five into 85 is 17. If I'm not sure why. Quick division sum at the side. Five into 85. Five goes into eight one time, remainder three. Five into 35, it goes seven times. Then we have to do 17 multiplied by three. Again, don't do it in your head. Why take the risk of messing it up and losing a mark? 17 threes, seven threes are 21, carry the two. One three is three plus the two is five, 51. Always show you're working out. On to question four. To make a cake, a baker adds 2.65 kilograms of flour to one and a half kilograms of butter. He then uses 3.85 kilograms of the mix in his cake. How much of the mix is left over? Right, so he's used this and this. I'm going to add this together. When we get your decimal points lined up, then to the right of the decimal point, we have a six and a five. Here we just have a five. 
So any gap I can put, I can fill in with a zero if it's a decimal. Then five add zero, six add five is eleven. Carry the one. One add two add one is four. Four point one five kilograms of mix. He uses three point eight five kilograms. So subtract it to find out what's left over. Five subtract five is nothing. Can't do one subtract eight, so we need to borrow off the four, which makes that a three. 11 take eight is three, three subtract three is zero. So I have 0 0.3 kilograms of mix, so 0 0.30 if you like. One DVD, one DVD costs 12.95. How much will it cost by seven of these DVDs? Well, we could do 12.95 plus 12.95 plus 12.95 plus 12.95. But multiplication is a shortcut for doing lots and lots and lots of additions. So just multiply five sevens are 35. Carry the three, nine sevens are 63. Carry the three to make 66. So the units column down, the six down, carry the six. Two sevens are 14, add on six is 20. Zero down, carry the two. One times seven, seven, add on the two is nine. 90 pound, 65. Now, once you've done all these, go back through them and check them, which I clearly didn't, because I'd missed out this bit here. So I would have dropped a mark there which would have been very sloppy. And that is the National for Added Value Practice Paper, Paper 1. If you can do those questions, you'll be absolutely fine on Paper 1 and the actual test.